Hello, and welcome to PhotographyTV.com, where we're all about telling stories about photography. And during today's episode, we're going to a NASCAR event to act as a photojournalist for the day. Now, this event was set up by Fort Worth Camera, which is a local camera store here. So huge thanks for them to setting this up uh, and giving us this awesome access. Now, once we got there, we got there pretty early in the day, we were given a shot list of different things that they wanted us to try to capture. And you can see here, I put a few of them up on the screen of the types of things that I was trying to capture during the day. And so one of the first events that we got to go photograph was a youth autograph session. So they had three different drivers out. You can see Danica Patrick was one of them. And they were there interacting with the youth. And as photographers, we were able to get really close and just get some candid shots of the drivers while they were interacting with the fans, which is a pretty cool experience to kind of get the day started. All right, so I thought I'd give a quick little flash on what I'm shooting with today and how I'm shooting it. So I've got my Black Rapid straps on one. I've got my A99 and the 70 to 200. And then on the other end, I've got my A72 and a 24 to 70 2.8. So I've got a wide range of focal lengths from 24 all the way to 200, uh, basically on either hip. So I've got the Black, stra black Rapid straps, uh, this one on one side, the A7 on one side, and the A99 on the other side, so got my holsters and I'm ready to shoot. All right, now we're headed to the infield and we're gonna explore around, see what we can get, have some fun. And one of the first things we're going to hear is a red carpet walk up where all of the drivers have to meet for a pre race. An overview, but they set it up to where they walk down the red carpet, they're interacting with fans as they come in, and just really cool access for us to get in uh, and shoot these drivers as they're coming down the red carpet. And there's also some other celebrities that were walking through the red carpet as well. So it was a fun opportunity to get in, shoot that, and really just try to capture that red carpet feel. Now we've wrapped up the red carpet, let's keep things moving. Next, we're going to a pre-game concert where he was having a concert right on the infield grass. And this was cool because it was really able to interact with the fans. I was able to move around, get different angles, different shots, and, you know, shoot a concert at a NASCAR event. We're at the concert, having some fun, and uh, the shooting's getting good now. Tons of, tons of opportunities, tons of cool things to shoot, and uh, having a good time. Now we're getting closer to race time. The cars are coming out. We have awesome access. By being on the infield at the pre-race, we're able to get right up close to these cars. And I'm getting some cool shots, just different perspectives on the cars, showing the work that's being done by the pit crew. Things I was most impressed with about the NASCAR infield access is that you get really close to the drivers, to the cars, and NASCAR does it right, really enhancing that fan experience. From a photography perspective, access is everything. Uh, the race starts here in about 45 minutes and I'm still standing five feet from uh, pit row and getting some full shots. Uh, but it's just incredible access that NASCAR sets up. If you have an infield pass, uh, you can really check some cool stuff out. So, pretty fascinating. Now we're ready for the race to begin, but not so fast. Just minutes before the race starts, it begins to rain. And in NASCAR, that means a delay. There was a five and a half hour delay because they couldn't get the track dried. So we just hung out and waited around. By the time the race finally began, it was dark. And we met some friendly tailgaters that invited us up onto their platform to watch the start of the race and that was an awesome vantage point to shoot from as the cars started to warm up and take some laps. It's time for the green flag. Now, once the cars get going at full speed, because it's night, you can see it's tough to freeze the car's motion. Now, for this specific shot, 
I wanted some motion blur in the car to show speed, so that was intentional. It was tough to get any faster of a shutter speed without going to an insanely high ISO, which would have meant a lot of noise. All right, now to get more shots, I went down by the track, up against this fence, to do some panning shots. All right, here's what I mean by panning. So I've got my camera here, and what you do is you take it, and when the car's coming by, you try to lock in on the car and follow the car along as it's going. So you're panning, and that helps with the shutter speed because if you're tracking the car, moving at the same speed as the car, you can lock in on the car and keep it in focus. And there's a lot of challenges in doing this. First was focusing. So as you can see here, one of the things that kept happening is as I was panning, the autofocus was grabbing onto the fence in front of me instead of the car. So the way I had to adjust for that is I switched to manual focus. So that helped me lock in on focus and just be able to pan and keep the focus. But then the challenge was the speed at which I was panning. It was kind of like Goldilocks. First, I panned too fast. Then I pan too slow and the car outran my camera. And then third, finally, I got the pan just right. But as if those aren't enough challenges, then the challenge was these posts from the fence. In these shots, the post is right in the middle of the car. So it's not really a great usable shot. And then finally, you get that pan shot where the car's in focus, in the frame as you want it, and there's not a fence post in the way. So these pan shots were fun, but it took a lot of practice and a lot of deciphering what I needed to do to get the shots that I wanted. And I'll just leave you with that, that if you find yourself in challenging situations, that's where you're going to grow most as a photographer. So figure out what the challenges are, work through them, um, keep practicing. You will get better. It's fun to be in those challenging environments and you really will grow as a photographer. Now, after I got some pan shots from the infield, I wanted to head up to the stands to get a different perspective and a new vantage point. Now, Carl Edwards was the champion that night, so congratulations to him. Now, I really enjoyed this event at NASCAR, having being a photojournalist for the day. I have a whole new respect for photojournalists. And if you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, like it below, and more than anything, if you wanna follow along and see other stories related to photography or get tips and tutorials, please subscribe to us on YouTube to follow along. Thanks for watching.